Alright, Shalom. This is Hara One by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp, located right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, I want to say Kal Halayim, Le Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Haver Ka Kodash, Ma. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Um, matter of fact, I got a scripture I'm going to start off with. All right, this is um, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 14. For the hope of the ungodly is like the dust that is blown away with the wind, man. All right, so as you see, I have uh, in the thumbnail, you got uh, Netanyahu over there in Israel holding up two signs, right? It says, um, for their hope, the hope of the ungodly is like the dust that is blown away with the wind, man. Especially here in this place, Babylon. It's going to be blown away with the destruction and that land of Israel. All right. So they got all these plans, all these maps they want to do. Uh, but the Lord is going to destroy all of all of their plans. All right. Um, like a thin froth that is driven away with the storm. And that's how the Lord going to have Russia, Iran, and these other nations come up against uh, the land of Israel. You know, but Netanyahu and them are occupying right now. They're going to come up also against this place, Babylon, like a storm. Like as the smoke, which is dispersed here and there with the tempest and passeth away as the remembrance of a guest that tarrieth but a day. Ooh. So they here they here temporarily. They they're occupying temporarily our land. <laughs> they won't be there soon. Alright, because the most high is gonna um destroy them. Alright, and clear them out of that land. Look at the look on his face. <laughs> it's Esau boy, we say uh shall live by the sword, man. Since thou has not hated blood, blood shall pursue thee. They love it. Look at him. He's thriving off of it. Bloodthirst. Bloodthirsty, man. Sit back in their rich homes and offices and just pressing buttons, telling people to do this, do that. You know? But on the outside, there's nothing but carnage and a lot of uh, bodies massacres going on playing the victim but this is what caught my attention Netanyahu tells the UN we are winning we are winning <laughs> you know he sounded like Arnold Schwarzenegger when he said we are winning <laughs> alright so it says this is their plan says the blessing all right the blessing this is what they call the blessing and then he called the curse all right so this is their plan and this is what's in their way basically what he's saying so right now he's saying that um he wants to build railroads or rails and energy from europe all the way through What's that Saudi Arabia look like? In Egypt and Sudan. And then over to wherever that is, right? But here, he's saying that Iran, Iraq, and Syria, that conglomerate, is in his way. <laughs> so we but we know that this has been their plan uh, all along. To go into that land of Iran to remove them, all right, break up that uh, community over there. So now uh, it says Netanyahu tells the UN we are winning. Now, all right, this is uh, First Maccabees two. Let me get uh, sixty-two. It says, "Fear not." 
than the words of a sinful man. That's Esau, man. You know, a sinful man. He's up there acting like a righteous man. But the Lord said the care of the righteous is with the Most High. See, the Lord ain't worrying about him, man. Today, so I can fear not, then the words of a sinful man. For his glory shall be dung and worms, man. See, they're glorying right now. Esau's in his glory. They're in their blessing. Look, that's when he want to continue to bless him. Look. <laughs> so, they want to take those lands. But those lands over there are going to be given to these people. You know? Um, Iran, I think in the 1950s, they changed their name from uh, Persia. Which goes back to them Elamites. Right? Which goes back to Elam. But those Persians, they later changed their name to something that means nobles or royalty. Or like noble. That's why they changed their name to Iran. But um, in the kingdom, the, the scriptures say, matter of fact, we get that real quick. It says uh, Isaiah 14 and 18. So this is in the kingdom. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, shall lie in glory. Every one in his own house. So after a thousand years, once uh, the true Israelites get established upon this earth and righteousness is set in order and these, these nations get punished, um, they're going to be given a, a form, a low form of living in those lands. All right. But they're going to be under the rulership of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the Israelites. It says, um, but thou, talking about Esau, there you go, public enemy number one, but thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, man. You see that? So even after they, they get put in uh, subjection under us, they, they're going to be cast out. And as the raiment, the raiment of those that are slain through and thrust through with the sword that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden underfoot, thou shalt not be joined with them in the burial. See that? So once all these nations are, are uh, basically put in hell, you know, slavery, and um, and once these nations get some form of status, living in in uh, the kingdom, Esau not gonna have a place. <laughs> so, uh, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people, the seed of evil doers shall never be renowned, man. All right, so they slain their brother Jacob. Now, if we go to, uh, where is it at? I don't want to veer too far off, but I'm going to get this real quick. Here you go. Amos 9 and 11. In that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. So the Lord is going to raise up the, uh, the Israelites again on this earth, starting with the elect. And King David is going to rule on this earth again over Judah. You know, under Yahweh Shai. In all Israel and close up the breaches thereof the breaches represent the walls and if there's a hole in the wall the enemies can come in and do their do what they want do their bidding but the Lord is going to close up the breaches to where um, the enemies won't be able to attack us or trick us again all right and close up the breach between us and the Most High and I will raise up his ruins. See, that's what it was. We, we have our, our walls were destroyed, meaning our protection, our hedge, 
physically and spiritually. You know, we got, we went off as a nation. So the Lord removed that protection and the, these nations saw the breaches, you know, the gaps. And uh, they used that to uh, destroy us and take our land. All right. And I will build it as in the days of old, man. Just like King Solomon and King David. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. So Esau, they're not going to have any place. They run, they talking about they want all this and they want all these lands and there's their blessing coming. Nah. Remember, they were, they were vagabonds. They were moved to the land of Israel. Right? Think of 1948. A little bit before that, but 1948, they were given their status as a nation. All right, uh, by uh, the U.S. and uh, England. All right, I forgot the king's name. It was the King's Decree, and he established them over there. All right. So Yahweh was going. Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to establish the true Israelite, the true children of God in that land. Not not man. Man is not going to do it. And the scriptures say the world shall study war, war no more once the true Israelites are in that land. This guy is living out his blessing of the sword. Alright? Alright? Matter of fact, let's prove that real quick. All right, look at this. What does it say right there? Israel took up the sword. Now it'll perish by the sword. U.S. Marine Scott Ritter of Redacted News. That was 11 hours ago. So they're using their blessing, the sword, them, you know, destruction. And that's what the Lord said they were going to do in these times. All right, rule with the sword. To gain the fatness of the earth. Let's get that real quick. All right, let me finish this precept first before I get that other precept. Amos 9 and 12. It says what? That, that, they, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen which are called by my name, meaning the Most High called them heathens. Say if Yahweh that doeth this. All right, so we're going to take all those lands from those nations and from definitely Edom. All right. All right. So check this out. It says here, Israel has taken up the sword. Now it'll perish by the sword. U.S. Marine Scott Ritter. So let's get this real quick. Genesis 27. And we know it's a, a Babylon, America, that's backing uh, Israel. So they're taking up the sword, too. Genesis 27 and 38 and Esau said unto his father Isaac has thou but one blessing my father bless me even me also O my father and Esau lifted up his voice and wept so, he, so they're not going to have repentance though they seek it carefully by tears and Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, meaning all over the damn earth. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All right. Um, and the riches and, and the rulership over the earth. And the dew of heaven. And by thy sword, thou shalt live. See that? And shall serve thy brother. All right. So that's what they did to to uh, Jacob first they came up against us but look what everything they've gained man they built this place off of what bloodshed alright um, matter of fact now you know what I'm going to leave that alone let's keep going with this topic alright so it says here Job 5 and 12 he disappointed the devices of the crafty man and that's Esau the, 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 the crafty nation alright goes into trickery 
so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, man. See, their enterprise, everything they're trying to do. Let's get that Job 5 and 12 real quick. Job 5 and 12. So I can bear with me real quick. <clears throat> Job 5 and 12. Enterprise. Let's get Enterprise. The, so that their hands cannot perform their undertaking. Whatever they're trying to do. Alright. Their success. Their support. And that's what he's seeking, support and help. All right, from who? America. So that their hands cannot perform their undertaking, what they're trying to do, their understanding. All right. And it says here, uh, where was that? Okay, the crafty. I want to get that real quick. All right, the crafty, the sly, the slick, crafty, shrewd, subtle, prudent, usually in a bad sense, cunning, serpent. That's them. All right, so the Lord is going to disappoint all his plans. <laughs> so, um, Job 5 and 12 no, 5 and 13, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. So them trying to go in and take these places like Iran and Iraq or whatever, that's going to be their demise. Um, and the counsel of the froward is carried headlong, man. All right. So they're going to fall in their damn faces. They meet with darkness in the daytime. So when they get to the climax of their uh, success and they feel that the, the sun is shining, you know, everything's perfect, that's when darkness and destruction going to hit them. And, the, and grope in the noonday as in the night. All right? It says, but he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth, their boasting, talking about their winning and shit. And from the hand of the mighty. See, they, they got might because they got all this technology and crafty uh, uh, agencies and, you know, war machines. You know, I'm trying not to say certain wet words, but y'all get my point. The missiles and such. All right. It's crazy, man. Just destroying people, obliterating them, taking their whole <laughs> madness, man. There's a madman right here. This is madness. This is uh, <clears throat> Jeremiah 49 and 16. No, 15. All right, because we know what the Obadiah said, the pride of thine heart has deceived thee. All right, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. All right, so they, they always, um, even in Petra and Edom, they would hide in those caves and feel safe. All right, and they built a plateau and called it uh, Edom and gave themselves a king. <clears throat> All right, around um, I, I spoke on it earlier, like 552. Uh, what was that? Uh, 952 BC, so lucky. I said 552. 952 BC. All right. So now, um, let's keep going. So it says, uh, verse 16, Thy terribleness has deceived thee, man. Being terrible, ter terrorizing people all over the earth. Look at it. Look in his eyes, yo. All right. Th th thy terribleness has deceived thee. Um... And the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill, 
um, see, they held the height of the hill when they built Edom. They built a plateau, and they even had walls, and they set they high walls, and they set up garrisons or troops along the border. All right, with Moab, and then uh, and um, Canaan. All right, the Philistines. So that's that's what Esau was establishing their kingdom. All right, so where was that? It says, "Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock," because that's really his habitation. He belonged in the caves. That holdest the height of the hill, the plateau that they built. Uh, thou, though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Lord. And that goes back to then when they set up their. Uh, kingdom back then it was 852 BC I think I said 9 852 BC when they established themselves as Edom and set up a kingdom and a king <clears throat> and they revolted under uh, Jehoram of Judah alright and then all the way until today they have reached the height and the plateau of their rulership even, even spiritually and the Lord is going to bring them down from thence also, Edom shall be a desolation. Every one that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at the plagues thereof. Man, all right. And today, even uh, spiritually, America is Edom. Okay. So let me get something real quick. Psalms ten and two: The wicked in his pride doeth persecute the poor. So when they're deceived by that pride, man. All right. Psalms ten and two. <clears throat> Psalms 10 and 2 Let's get pride Majesty It says pride as rising a rising up Swelling of the sea Majesty Pride, haughtiness <clears throat> So when they're in their rulership And in their power and that's what, He's shining right now, ain't he? Netanyahu He's like a little kid showing his parents what he want. <laughs> I want to, I want to bless this what I want right here. And just <laughs> All right. The wicked in his pride doeth persecute the poor, man. And the truly the the ones they originally persecuted was the, the true Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. But now they persecute anybody that has less than them. All right. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. You see that? So all the devices, let's get that. Their purposes, man. Their imaginations. Machination. Usually evil that they created these technologies and machines and they use it to destroy people with. So let them be destroyed by the same. The vices, evil. Crazy, right? The evil which they're imagining. This is evil what this dude's talking about. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, man. What is he doing? He's boasting about his heart's desire. And it's going to involve unaliving millions of people. And blesseth the covenant. So they bless each other greedy people people that let's get that word covetous to cut off break off gain they gain by unrighteous violence See, in the kingdom we're going to gain by righteous violence taken back was ours by our king Yahweh Shai but now they're trying to take more of what's not theirs gaining by unrighteous violence be covetous to be greedy so they bless the wolves the wolves bless the wolves and then they act like sheep the wolf taking care of the wolf all right so the wicked through the pride of his countenance it's lucky 
For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire. Man, they all got the same heart, the same mindset. You know, New World Order. And this is part of it, what he's talking about. And the and blessed the covetous whom Yahweh abhorreth. Man, the Lord hates these people. It's deep, man. All right. <clears throat> and what did what did Biden them do? Trump and them they were sending money to Israel, sending money to Ukraine. So they blessed the covetous. All right. Get this. This is Psalms 37 and 7. Rest in Yahweh. See, our job is to rest in the spirit of the Lord. And wait patiently for him, right? Don't be no jackass and try to go over to that land and take it back like a lot of these silly camps try to try to do in the 70s and 80s. Try to go over there, then they got filtered into the damn military. To, to live in that land, you had to agree to... Um, fight in, their, uh, in the Israeli army, the IDF. So sometimes you'll see, when you see them showing their military, you'll see some jakes in there. Um, I think dude named Ben Amin or something like that. So it says, rest in your house. So we resting in the Lord. And wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself. Right? Let's see if I get some lighting better. Alright. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. And their way is wickedness. So we don't fret ourselves because they seem to be prospering. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Alright? For evil, verse 9, for evil, for evil doers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon Yahweh, they shall inherit the earth. Right. We're the meek. And just like that lady, I did a lesson on her yesterday from Barbados. Uh, Maya, the prime minister of Barbados, she cut in with a scripture and said, um, I, I, you know, it's basically saying the vengeance is the Lord's, not some country, some man <sighs> cutting. But they take vengeance upon themselves. So the Lord said, "What He's going to cut off evil doers?" All right. So the Lord going to cut them off right, right when they go to fill their belly. He's ready to fill. He's one of them. They're ready to devour, seeking whom they can devour. All right. Uh, Job 20 and 5. Just, uh, there you go. I'm going to go to 4. Knowest thou not this of old? So even of the ancient times, man, you can see where the Lord will let them raise up, rise up. The pharaohs of Egypt, 595 B.C., Pharaoh Nico, when he started building those, um, what do you call that? Uh, you know, basically building up the Nile River and the Tigris and the, the Kasa River and the Red Sea and using all of that. And then the Lord destroyed them with the Battle of Carchemish. You know, um, you can go on and on. Nebuchadnezzar. Cyrus the Great, Alexander, you, you know, Senate Carib, uh, what's the other one name, man? The Wicked Root. Uh, I always forget his name when I say Senate Carib. They remind me of each other. Oh, uh, shit. What was his name, man? The Seleucid Empire, uh, Antiochus Epiphanes, all right? So, I turn this up. Nothing. All right, so now, knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, 
And he said, we are winning. Well, he's about to come to an end of that. All right. Uh, pride cometh before a fall. Uh, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. He's a hypocrite, man. So his joy is only for this moment. A little season. All right. Though his excellency, though their excellency, their glory, their rulership, mount, mounteth up to the heavens, and his head reacheth unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream. Now I said the glorying of the ungodly is uh, as, as, a, as the dust. And their inheritance shall be dung and worms. That's right. You know, and shame sh shameful spewing shall be upon their glory. Even in their glorying and uh, what they did to us when they had us in uh, hardcore servitude. In chains. Right? That's a shame to them. But their pride won't let them feel it. But the Lord gonna make them feel it. All right, let me get one, two more scriptures. Right, Psalms um, five and six. Uh, let me go to five. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Talking about these foolish people here, they're not gonna stand in the presence of the Lord. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. So even Nathan Yahoo. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. All right, it's lying. Yahweh will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. They, 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 build, they build places up off of bloodshed. That was Esau's blessing. So he basically saying, you see he got the red line. Basically gonna, he going to pave blood all through there. Oh, through there. That's, what, that's his goal. Alright. So he's going to abhor and show the Most High going to show his wrath on these bloody and deceitful men. Look at that. Alright. This is the word for um, leasing. He said he's going to abhor them that speak leasing, man. These are all lies, yo. You got a curse and a blessing. That's a lie, man. That's a lie he made up. The, he, what it should say is, these are his plans, and this is what's in his way, from their plans. You know, this is our curse. There, right now we have to get rid of the curse to get the blessing. See, it's a lie. <laughs> to get the blessing. <laughs> I'm gonna talk like Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator. That's it. Be his name, the Terminator, right here. Terminating people. So that word leasing goes into kazab, all right? Kazab. Or kazaba, which would be kazab. It means what? Falsehood. A lie. Untruth. Deceptive thing. Falsehood. Untruth. Idols. Literally untruth. All right? So the time of leasing is at hand. It's that time of leasing. They're speaking lies, man. Right, but the Lord is going to show His wrath and hatred towards them, His ab abhorrence towards these people. All right, let's get Ezekiel thirty-five and six. Therefore, as I live, ooh, I'm gonna go to here real quick. You see. Ezekiel 35 and 5 No 4 I will lay thy cities waste And thou shalt be desolate And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh So these devils are going to know that Yahweh is the power Because he's going to lay them desolate And all their cities that they built Because thou has had a perpetual hatred man They've shown nothing but hatred to the children of Israel And hatred towards um the rest of the world and has 
shed the blood of the children of Israel by force, by the force of the sword. See, the Lord hasn't forgotten what they've done to us too. When they when they took us in the uh, hardcore servitude, the Lord didn't forget that. And they still living off that same bloodshed. They ain't even wiped the stains off the swords yet. They going still slaughtering other people with it. Their blood is still stained. Their swords are still stained with the blood of the Israelites. And now this their sword is stained with the blood of the, of the rest of the, of the heathens. Whom the Lord doesn't really care about. So... In the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end, all right. So they did that when uh, 586 BC they came against us, 70 AD they came against us, right? Um, therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh, so even now. They're trying to set that new world order in place. When it's time for us to be free, they want to put us more more into captivity under a new world order and depopulation and lies. All right? Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. So that's why this is happening. So they can lead the way in the bloodshed and then the Lord going to have these nations follow behind them. <laughs> blood shall pursue thee. Since thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. This, this guy doesn't hate what he's doing. He loves his job. You know? Thus will I make Mount Seir most, the most desolate of all nations. It's going to be the most ones that get cut off and cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men in thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Wow. And I will make thee perpetual desolations and thy city shall not return and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. So everything they built is going to be destroyed. All his blessings and hopes is going to turn into a curse. It's coming, man. So they say we're they're winning. <laughs> but the Most High, that's Paul part of the Most High's plan. To catch them in their boasting. Revelations 11 and 17. Uh, let's go to 18. And and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come. So this dude going to be angry when he <laughs> realizes that the Lord is not with them, and he's against them. And he can't get his little gift, his blessing that he want. Esau sought it carefully with tears. He's not going to get it. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come. And the time of the dead, that they should be judged, talking about these heathens, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, that's the living, the elect, and to the saints, that's the kingdom, and them that fear thy name, small and great. All right, so in the end, Esau, they're going to be angry when they get... <laughs> You know, judge. And the most high, what? It says that thou shouldest destroy them which destroyeth the earth. And that's all he's doing, man, just destroying the earth, destroying people off the earth, the destroyer of the earth, just destroying shit. The terminator himself. All right. So with that, I'm going to end it, man. Hopefully, this was edifying and encouraging to the hopeful elect. To continue in his faith another day. It says, Nathan Yahoo tells the UN we are winning. But the Most High uh, begs to differ. You know, because even, even when you think you're winning, 
through sin, you're not actually winning. You're, you're losing. You know, because that, that's all it is. Uh, let me get one more. If I can get it. Oops. Let me get one. Here you go. This is Matthew 6 and 23. But if thine eye be evil, so all that's on his, this man's mind is evilness, man. So is he really winning? Thy whole body shall be full of darkness. That whole place over there in, in our land is full of darkness right now. All his plans. Um, what does it say? Habakkuk 2. He enlarges his desires as hell. So anywhere they place their desires and want blessings and all that, they're going to bring hell on earth. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. <clears throat> If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness, man. All right? The light of the wicked shall be put out. So that darkness is going to be put out. So is he really winning? No. You're losing. 